Hi, Cancer. Uh, this is going to be a simple six card spread. It's going to be um, where your relationship is currently at, your feelings, their feelings, the obstacles in the relationship, if any, the advice or the suggested approach from the universe and the likely outcome. Please note this is not going to resonate with every Cancer watching this video. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Please keep in mind this is a general reading and if you need a personal reading my information is going to be down below. All right. Um, Cancer, the overall energy I see is uh, that of the Emperor. This could be an older man. This could be your energy or the person you are dealing with. This is someone solid, someone stable. Uh, this can be someone who is very, very rigid and stubborn in their ways. This is um, someone who is very closed off with their feelings. They're not very emotional. They're very protective, very logical, very practical. This is someone very authoritative. And um, this can be uh, someone who's um, uh, not very romantic. Like uh, they're good influence, they're good people, but uh, you can say that romance is not clearly their strong point. Okay. This could be your, whatever I'm telling you, this could be your energy or the person you're dealing with. So feel free to switch the energies. All right. Um, so the current situation that I see is that um, you have the Hierophant. You could be dealing with the Taurus. I see that this is definitely to do with a marriage. I think someone is either married or then someone is, is, is in some kind of a committed relationship. This is a very spiritual connection. Um, this can be someone, some place. If this is not a spiritual, this is a spiritual connection for sure. This is marriage. Um, this is someone who is very religious. This is a very very strong committed relationship. Uh, that's what point you are at. You could be uh, going to a counselor or a mentor who will provide you with more wisdom and guidance about your relationship or you could be looking forward uh, or, or this relationship has something to do with a marriage in um, cancer in your feelings I see the moon you could be dealing with a Pisces you may feel that things are hidden from you. You may feel that there are a lot of secrets. There are, um, there's a lot of anxiety. There's a lot of fear around you. There are a lot of things that don't seem to be as they are. Something is in the dark. There is something that is hidden from you. There are secrets. That's what you feel. You feel that everything is not in the, not in the open. You feel that there is something that is being hidden from you. In their feelings, we have the temperance. They could, you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. They are holding on to patience. They want balance. They want peace. They want patience. They're in a very moderate energy. They want harmony. They want a very harmonious relationship. This could even be a soulmate. They may think that you're their soulmate or you may think you're their soulmate. This person has found their inner calm. They've, they've found a, a good perspective on things and they're holding on to it. They're in a very clear mind and calm uh, place. They're trying to keep a balance in whatever is going on in the relationship. They have found peace and tranquility and they are feeling very, very content as to wherever they are. In the obstacle of the relationship, it's a very weird card, but the obstacle of the relationship, we have the Queen of Wands. You could be dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, Leo or a Sagittarius. It's funny how this can be an obstacle, but what I feel is probably if this is an obstacle, this could be someone who's very hot tempered. This could be someone who is very, very overly confident or this could be someone who has a lot of things going in their uh, head. They're trying to throw a lot of balls in the air. They're not being able to manage a lot of things. This could be someone who is unfaithful. 
this could be someone who's liar who's manipulative someone very vengeful this is someone very pushy and demanding all right This could be, like I said, if I haven't said this before, this could be something, someone very, very temperamental. Someone loses their cool very, very fast. This is someone who's feeling very pessimistic about the relationship and uh, they're just very overwhelmed. This is someone who's probably taken on far too many tasks and they're trying to keep too many balls in the air. They want to do everything, but they're not being able to. They're almost very close to getting a burnout. This could be a troublemaker. This is someone very unfriendly. They could be very jealous. Maybe jealousy is what the problem is. So probably maybe someone out here feels that things are hidden from them. And that's why they're getting jealous and insecure. They're, feeling, they're, lack, they're lacking confidence. While the, whilst this person is keeping on, they're maintaining their patience. They're trying to keep up with the relationship. The suggested approach or the advice is the page of wands in reverse. Someone is being very, very impatient. They're not ready to wait. They're fearful. They're close-minded. They're lacking of confidence. This is that the, you have the page of wands in reverse. You could be dealing with a fire sign again. You have a lot of fire in this reading. If this person does not have a fire, if you don't have fire in your chart, they could be having fire anywhere in the chart. That could be a moon rising or Venus. Someone is lacking uh, passion. Someone's, uh, someone's not inspired enough to start something new in this relationship. Someone's lacking ambition. Someone's um, just uh, feeling very uninspired like I said they're not being able to find the passion that they had in this relationship someone's just bored they feel there is like a same cycle again and again they feel very like this is a very predictable energy this could be some bad news someone's just lacking ideas or they're just not ready to you know probably someone is just procrastinating they, they they're just putting things off rather than taking action to make things happen they want to make things happen but they're not ready to put in the work big procrastination card your likely outcome this is a very good card you have Knight of Cups. You could be dealing with a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Take action. You will take action. There will be someone. One of you all are going to be swept off your feet. There is attraction coming in. There is love coming in. This is someone very, very imaginative, warm, gentle, caring, sensitive. This is a romantic proposal. This is a romantic offer. Someone wants to restart something with you. This is within the marriage, within the relationship. This is not someone new. This is a knight. This is an action taker. It is now the right time. The likely outcome, one of y'all are likely to take action and follow your heart. Someone's going to be very gentle, very loving, and they're going to take action. Someone is going to be very graceful even though they may be under pressure. Or you may even have a mediator coming in between or trying to resolve the conflicts between you and your person. Whoever this is, this could be around usually the age of 20 to 35. Don't go by the age. But this is someone who is very emotional, romantic. He is very chivalrous, very tactful. But you have a love offer coming in. So this is probably someone trying to rekindle the emotions that were let down. Someone may feel uninspired, but there is the other person who has the patience, I guess. Cancer, if this is not your side, feel free to change your side. Probably this is you and this is them. But I have a feeling that someone is ready to take, is very patient and they're ready to wait for the right time. Knights are the slowest 
people uh, in the deck. They may come in slow, but when they come in, if they come in with a genuine offer. And I feel this is someone who is ready to make an offer, ready to start something new in the relationship. Let's clarify why the page of wands in his reverse. Let's wait for it's an angel. Why is the page of wands in reverse? 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 Oh. Guys, you have the five of wands in reverse. You could again be dealing with the fire sign. An Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. This is in reverse, which is a good thing. So probably there were a lot of conflicts, a lot of clashes, a lot of ego clashes, a lot of disagreements, a lot of fights, a lot of bickering within the relationship or within someone's mind. There could have been a lot of people between you both in the relationship. Someone just got sick and tired and fed up. But they're giving in. This is resolving the conflicts. This is giving up. This is stop wanting to fight. Someone doesn't want to fight anymore. They want to stop the conflicts. They're going to throw their wands down. They don't want to fight anymore. And probably someone felt uninspired because of the constant fights. You may not be in communication with this person. You have the page of swords at the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is someone who's probably even stalking you. They're watching you from a distance. This could be an online relationship. This is someone who's not communicating with you, someone very mature, someone younger, a younger air sign. This could be someone who wants to talk to you, but they're going to gather a lot of information before they come up to you and they talk to you, all right? You could be in separation from this person. Although I don't see a separation card, but definitely something's lost the spark in a relationship. Please clarify the moon. Clarify the moon, please. Spirit guides and angels, what is the moon here? Why is the moon here? Spirit guides and angels, why is the moon here for cancer? Why is the moon here? Why is the moon here? Please clarify the moon. I have two cards. The moon card is clarified by the page of cups and the tower. The page of cups again you could be dealing with a water sign but this could this time it could be a younger water sign this is someone who's very very uh this is someone who's fun this is someone who is uh very emotional this is someone who wants to come up to you and apologize for whatever they've done this could be uh someone very um very naughty very cute um, again, this is someone uh, who is um, ready to start something new again. It can be an apology. It can be some good news that comes in. You have this accompanied by the tower in reverse. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. This means that you have been very close to dodging a bullet. You have been very, very close to resisting, to averting a disaster. There was something that was very, very close to you. You like almost saved yourself from it. Maybe something was coming to an end. You were probably very stressed about it with a moon card. But finally you got an apology. Probably you were almost in almost at the brink of ending a relationship but then because the apology came in and uh, you changed your mind you almost avoided a tragedy the page of cups saved the relationship this is definitely an apology look what we have at the bottom of the deck we have the Ten of Cups. This is again water energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, fellow water sign like yours. This is a happy family. This is happiness. This is good news. This is um, a happy marriage. This is a happy couple with their happy family, happy kids. Everything's happy. 
so i feel the tower is in reverse so you were almost at the brink of a disaster of in of or ending a relationship maybe something was a relationship was as good as over but i think the page of cups came in apologized they were sorry for what they did if someone did something wrong in the relationship or someone has just apologized and something um has saved your marriage or saved your committed relationship all right cancer thank you for watching this video if you like the video please pass your comments down below and i will see you next time bye bye